Alright guys, so Dimsy, the person that I had on with the shipping debate and is Yugi the True King of Games debate, made a video that I'm in and it's called What Yami is the Best, comparing Yami Yugi, Yami Merrick, Yami Bakura. Check it, it will be linked in the description below. It is a video worth watching. Screw this video, watch that. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Gary back with another video. Now today we're going to be talking about does a Tim deserve more? I did a video on this topic relating towards Trisha and I would really like it if you guys checked it out after watching this video. And it will be linked in the description below. But pretty much this is a series where I get characters from Yu-Gi-Oh! and check how they were treated throughout the series, things they did, how much screen time they got, and if they deserve more than what they initially got. So a Tim, the king of games himself, does he deserve more than what he got in Yu-Gi-Oh! And my answer will be shortly revealed. But a Tim got the most screen time in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! He has the most of development probably behind Kaiba or on par it's very debatable but in this video I'm not going to be talking about everything that Tim did because that would be 40 minutes long but if you look at duel monsters the Tim is always there to save the day he's gotten the most prestigious awards the greatest duels and amazing rivalry a Tim not only defeated a monster with infinite attack of course with the help of Pegasus and his friends he also defeated mostly every major villain in Yu-Gi-Oh and sometimes it wasn't necessary of him defeating them so maybe you guys are guessing that I'm going to say no well you're wrong and here's why everything I've listed about a Tim getting the most prestigious awards Awards, the greatest duels, the best moments in Yu-Gi-Oh! At the end of the day is bullshit and here's why. A Tim is the greatest duelist to ever hold a duel disc. Even Yu-Gi admits it. And what I mean by bullshit is that Yami did all these impressive things but lost to Yu-Gi. And regardless of my opinion on the duel, it's right for Yu-Gi to win the duel. But take away the huge development that Yu-Gi received and the things he needed from that duel. Do you really think that Yu-Gi winning is the right thing? A Tim does all this shit and then even at the end of it gets shot and down by his other half. To add even more into that, rather of Yu-Gi worrying about a Tim's departure, Departure, which he does for like a minute as soon as a Tim leaves he says his story's just begun that's so appreciative towards a Tim but to go furthermore into this on why I think a Tim deserves more is because his life is complete shit and I mean complete shit his life is probably as shit as Kaiba's when you look at it and before you batter me in the comment section please hear me out. A Tim when he was a child was living a very good life because his father was a king and he was the heir to his father's position. But a Tim with this very good life had no friends except for mana and didn't get the experiences that we get to do because of his hierarchy. But once a Tim took his father's position, hell just started to rain in. Bandit Bakura comes in and destroys a Tim's kingdom. Bakura hurts slash kills a Tim's friends. He also does so much more. But a Tim defeats Bandit Bakura and Zork by trapping them in the Millennium Puzzle by using a spell which includes his name. So from that he has to erase his memories as well. A Tim's puzzle which he was in was in a tomb for 5,000 years. Just imagine that. For that long not knowing who you are, trying to find out who you are. Imagine a boring day times that by 5,000. That's insane. The puzzle then gets found by Solomon Moto and a boy named Yugi solves it. And once a Tim gets into the real world, he then gets his prestigious life of winning every single duel and becoming unstoppable. But then has to deal with Yugi's personal problems and has to mold him into more of a confident being. Of course Yugi molds a Tim into a better person as well. But the thing is, a Tim once he came out of the puzzle was on this mysterious journey and while on that journey he had to deal with all these problems that came forth. And furthermore, a Tim was fighting Yugi's battles in the anime and even in the movie as well. And then after that, a Tim does find out his memories and has to go to the afterlife. Yugi doesn't have to do anything basically for four seasons. He then beats a Tim and after that gets a very good role in a film and still needs a Tim's help to help him out. And to go even beyond that, he helps out Jaden and then sends him back in time to duel Yami like Come on, that's not fair at all. Yugi literally does nothing. Once things get too challenging for him, he has to bring out a Tim in some way. But to explain furthermore on why I think a Tim deserves more is because his life is shit when you think of it. He had a bad childhood, he then is encaved in a puzzle for millenniums, and once he comes back in the real world, he has to find out who he is and deals with this BS. A Tim never got to spend time and enjoy the real world, like, like maybe hanging out with friends or maybe doing some activities or just having fun. A Tim's whole life is basically helping out people. Personally, I don't like that. He's basically guidance in a sense. I just think that he should have had a little time to spend before he has to go. And that's pretty much it guys. Now comment down below if you want to see me do a does Kaiba or does Yugi deserve more.